Hello everyone, welcome again in Angman YouTube channel. So in this video, we will talk again about Prosper software. And in this particular video, we will use a, a very good feature in Prosper. And it is BHP, bottom hole pressure from WHP, wellhead pressure. So basically we will convert the wellhead pressure that we will provide to calculate the bottom hole pressure. Okay, and I use an already built or generated model, well model. So I'm just going to introduce you a little bit about the model. I double click on this section. So this is a retrograde condensate model for the fluid and it's a compositional fluid model. And equation of state method, prosper internal EOS model, multi-stage separator, but actually it's not the main point of the exercise that we will perform. And for the completion, it's a cased hole, single branch. Well, flow type tubing flow, this is important, and well type producer, okay? Remind this one, remember this one, flow type is tubing flow. So that's for the option summary. And here we have compositional fluid. Okay. We already have the fluid model imported into the Prosper from another software. Okay. PVTP from Patex as well. As well, we analyze the fluid model, the compositional fluid model there and we generate a file, okay? A file containing all the information about the fluid, and then we import onto the Prosper. So we already have this one prepared. And let's check the IPR. This also has been computed. So you see the reservoir pressure, temperature, gas oil ratio, and so on and so forth. And reservoir model, we will use petroleum experts model. Here we have a mechanical geometrical skin. We input manually mechanical skin to be five. Okay, done. And we can also check the this one, equipment data. Let's check deviation survey, downhole equipment, geothermal gradient, average capacity as usual maybe we can also check the summary the christmas tree to be encasing the depth draw down hole so it's like this no artificial leaf no pump it's a natural flowing condensate well christmas tree tubing and casing the tubing is quite big four inches Casing 8.3 inches. So it's a big well. Click on done and done and click on edit to check. So this is the deviation survey. It's a vertical well. We can also check the plot. Okay, it's a vertical well. Finish and then click done. This is the well configuration. You can see the inside diameter of the tubing roughness and then casing inside diameter. It's a deep well. The end of the tubing is located at 11,800 feet and the casing, the, the bottom of the casing at 12,000. Geothermal gradient. And lastly, typical average capacities. Okay. Now before finally go to this feature, bottom hole pressure from well had pressure, let's perform the nodal analysis first. So we click on calculation, system, IPR, and VLP. Okay, and then this is the window. Top node pressure, 2,500. It has high pressure, you know. Even the well had pressure is already very high, 2,500. Total GOR, this one. And we need to remember this, top node pressure and total GOR. And 
vertical lift correlation that we use petroleum experts five solution node bottom node rate method automatic geometric okay so now we need to calculate show calculating data okay all right completed so this is our nodal analysis inflow versus outflow inflow is of course the you know this red curve whereas the outflow is shown by this blue curve so at operating point we can produce the gas rate we can produce the gas at rate of 37 mmscf per day with oil or condensate rate almost 5000 stock chamber per day no water production so it's zero water zero water cut so the liquid rate is also 4000 965 stock chamber per day solution node pressure which is the bottom hole pressure it's important 5100 psig okay we can also click on plot system plot plot all cases x-axis variable gas rate y-axis vlp and ipr click on done so it's like this okay and what we need to remember is this top node pressure and then total gor water water gas ratio gas rate and solution node pressure okay so let's go ahead click on done and now we can directly go to this one bottom hole pressure from wellhead pressure or we can also go to calculation and check it here. Bottom hole pressure from wellhead pressure. So let me click on that. Okay, so this is our window. Tubing correlation or vertical leaf correlation. If we want to follow the previous calculation in nodal analysis, we can open and select petroleum expert five. Pipe correlation, it's not very important. First node, wellhead. Okay, so we will start from the wellhead. This is our top node. And gas fraction, total GOR, just like we had in nodal analysis section. And for the water fraction, we can also use water gas ratio. Okay, so now we will calculate and we have several columns here. The first one is time, but for steady state or pseudo steady state calculation, time is not really important, right? But we, need, we still need to input the time. So let's say day one and gas rate, okay? Checking or considering the previous calculation in nodal analysis section, Let's say we want to try our calculation or our computation results from nodal analysis. So we follow the results there. The gas rate previously is 37 mmSF per day. With wellhead pressure or top node pressure, if I'm not mistaken, 2,500. Wellhead pressure, I'm not so sure. So let's click on done first or maybe cancel let's check the geothermal gradient 70 okay 70 degrees so cancel now i win i will go to this section okay so petroleum expert 5 total gor well had water gas ratio 1 37, 2500, 70 degrees Fahrenheit. Total GOR, if I'm not mistaken, is 7500. Water, zero. So now we can freely or we can easily calculate by clicking on this calculate button. Finish. And you see the bottom of pressure 
is around 5,000, which is very close with what we have in previous calculation from nodal analysis. So let's say I'm going to copy and let's just check the nodal analysis. Okay, click on done. 